can still remember the small face. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. So now that you have seen me, and you know I'm the one, I'm putting the mask back, and I advise every one of you to put on your mask. We want to protect the life of our people because if our people are sick, they cannot drive on the road, they cannot go to school, they cannot go to work. So as leaders, we must protect them. So when you wear it, it's not a decoration. It must close your mouth and close your nose. Let me show you. Take my hand. You see, I cover my mouth and my nose. So that if I talk, nothing comes to you. So do the same. It's not convenient, but it's better than being in the hospital. Yeah, so I want them to start with this song. We are what God says. Thank you. 
different. So, Mrs. Gani Hadu, may God bless you, bless your children, and may you remain an asset, not only to a good woman in this part, but a strong pillar of support to your husband. As they say, by the side of every successful man, there is a supportive woman. No woman! Today, I told them to sit behind because other social distancing, I should lead by example. I want to thank all of you for coming out in these numbers to welcome Ayadamu. Beautify it 
forces of our youth leaders who fought to support him. When the governor was sending our people to prison for mere argument, and even some women delivered at Oko prison because they could not afford 20,000, which was imposed on them by emergency what they call mobile court. When this is happening, many of you were angry. And I said to you, you cannot say that because you build a house, a human being you fought walk into that house.
my vision is that whoever goes to the farm must return back home after family. So whatever I have done anywhere in the world, I have to return back home. And last night, I came back home. Yes. I came back home not to rest. We are political lions. We don't rest. We must, by the special grace of God, dominate our political forest. And we commit ourselves in total to the project of returning Pastor E.J. Iyamu to replace and occupy Osadebe Avenue. And Honorable Dani Aldu, he will marry Those guys. 
counselors who have been sacked because they refuse to betray their conscience. Let me tell you, all of those young men and women, party leaders who have been humiliated, young people who have been intimidated, harassed, shut out, those whose property were destroyed at Aochi because they stood, they stood for what they believe in. Don't cry. No one need your tears. They will cry. But the only power that can inflict pain, and that is the God Almighty. Only he and he alone can inflict pain. Any pain inflicted by the devil, by the special grace of God, it will come and pass. Amen. So, we will sit down and rebuild the house. From now to September 19, I am here, Gidiba. I will remind them of the schools we built, the roads we built, the boreholes we constructed, and I will ask them, since I left, have you got a new red roof? They are the plastic glasses, casement windows, with uh, steel windows to make our school look like But this afternoon, I want to just conclude my one statement because I'm still going to talk in a statewide forum where I will speak on the issues. The man that is coming is not a stranger. He invented no man is God. You all know campaign for me in 2012 and in that election I won 18 over 18 so he knows everybody he's not a stranger anybody who labor to go to the farm plant when you get the harvest he will not waste it the problem with the current governor is that he he has no idea of the farm, he has no idea of the practices, he has no idea of how it was able to have a set. He just saw himself in an executive dining table. But whatever I have a beginning, we have an end. By the special grace of God, the God of justice, his end has come. It's going to be based on I mark. Do you remember I mark? I told you, don't believe anybody who told you this will be a mark, a mark, a mark. I said, if you don't see it, don't believe it. And that is why God knows I try to advise the government, the algo that we are the one who told the young people don't believe paperwork don't believe uh, here here mark government has a mark 10 billion for school a mark 10 billion for the a mark 
We are going to discuss speak to specific issues. I was in Benin the day before that night. All the street lights are off. Only one I saw. Even the generator removed. You remember the day we put on the street light from Auchi to Jetu to Afoa and then to Afasho. Do you remember? Some of you may be there. From Jeju to Auchi, I enjoyed it. At night, 12 midnight. Have you seen the lights again? All they are doing now, they remove the generator, they auction to themselves, and they are using the electric pole, the street light pole, to advertise the face at the deputy face of the outgoing. Even if you don't punish them, you think our creator will leave them like that? No. I promise, based on our conversation, continuity. I expected rather stop the existing project. He will increase them. He said he demobilize them. I mean, I can go on and on and on. There was a road we are doing at Apokwela. A huge population. Once I left, he stopped the project. The work connecting Apana to Iraq, a small job. Where it stopped is when I left. 
He refused to complete it. The boreholes I bought, three that the boreholes. Those boreholes, we are giving them to consultants and they are working outside the those state. Even if you forgive her, you think say, Baba Loke, you go forgive? So I want to thank you for coming in these numbers last night and now to welcome me back home. I didn't really mean to start the campaign because I want the candidates to be around, but I thought I must find time to address you because you have shown loyalty, you have shown love, you have shown appreciation, and I'm so humble. And I pray that where I didn't get to, many of you will rise above it. Because when I left this village at the age of 15, 16, in 1968, I had only a small pet battle. So if I can become the governor of a state, the president of all those who are working, Nigeria Labour Congress, and even become the chairman of a governing party, whether for one day or two days, it doesn't matter. It is not how far, but how well. I remain ever grateful to President Muhammad Buhari for supporting me to become the chairman of APC. And I will never forget the honor he did to me, even when some people were opposed because they thought I cannot be controlled. It is true. I can't even control when my conscience is firm up. Nothing can change it. My late father told me, if you lose convenience today and you do what is wrong, tomorrow it will change. So I am grateful to the president. I am grateful to all the APC governors. I am grateful to the Senate president. I am grateful to the deputy Senate president and APC caucus in the Senate. I appreciate and I'm grateful to the speaker of the Federal House of Representatives, to the deputy speaker, Federal House of Representatives, and all the rep House members, APC caucus in the House of Rep. I have done my part. I signed up the chapter, and another person will continue from where I stopped, and I will continue in another part of life, different from that one. I am very fulfilled, very fulfilled, because those who grumble, grumble because they never look back to see where they are coming from. I look at where I'm coming from, and I can only say, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. So, please remember, this one that is coming, not be yoke. Not be yoko. The way you wear your face mask already has impressed me. That is the way you will carry your PVC. And you will pee them out and uh, kick them out and restore a governor and a deputy that will look you and say thank you. Not the one that we live in Jetu. He will use police. He will use dogs to shoot at a Jetu man. Not the one that we threaten the Ogeneni of Uzairwe. If you leave your house to visit the Shomali, he will destroy the Ogeneni. When a small boy uses mouth, to forget an institution 
He has forgotten that power is very. Thank you. That is abomination. Anyway, we will conclude again by this song. But let me appreciate our camera people for this impromptu invitation that you honor in these numbers. We are grateful. Over the next two, three months, you are going to be very busy conveying our messages to the people of Nigeria and to the world. But as you go home, tell your wives and your husbands, you saw me. I am seen the same. I remain the same. Let me ask you, all those of you who are ready to vote for Pastor Ize Yamu on March on um, September 19, raise up your hand. All those of you who are energized by the emergence of a young man, Ghani Audu, as the next deputy governor, raise up your hand. All those of you who are ready to move in with the broom to Osadebe Avenue and sweep it clean so that the new governor will not be infected by the corona of the old governor. If you believe in this, raise up your hand. Forgive those who may have out of fear, out of fear, not out of their heart, intimidation, they learn that they want to come back. Those of you who are ready to forgive them, like the prodigal son, raise up your hands. So, we must know the difference. But that does not mean we do not know who is who. So as you go back, I want to make one appeal. Remember, remember, from today, I'm going to visit your villages. Every village. Special grace of God, I will visit your villages. And I will meet our elders, our youth, our women, and our communities. And we will spread the message. God bless you all. SPC!